guys welcome once again to my channel I'm Tina with Tina's inspired art and we are going to be doing another botanical Dutch pour today let's go ahead and start talking through what that looks like um, and this is in no particular order whatsoever I am just going to play with some of these colors and put them down in a specific dump design that I have in mind, but definitely incorporate my botanical Dutch pour within this style. So we'll have a Liquitex black. This is a lime green, um, an iridescent white, a bronze, um, an iridescent, it's a blue green. I'm gonna add some gold in there and um, this is a um, bright lime green. I want it very leafy looking, earthy, leafy um, vibe. And I'm gonna start my design kind of in this corner and work it out. So we'll see what these colors do for us. Thanks again for joining me. It should be a really fun pour today. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so starting off, we are going to flood my canvas. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm gonna be flooding it with my base white house interior paint. Now this paint obviously is a very thick consistency. And I pour this directly out of the can as is with no water added. Uh, lots of people have asked me if I add water to my house paint, and the answer is no, I do not add it. Um, there has been maybe one or two times in the past when the consistency at the end of the pail has gotten a little bit thicker, so you can add a little bit of water to it to thin it a little bit. This is very thick. It's kind of like pancake batter, I would say. I've got it on my spinner today. <laughs> um, so I can just get at these edges a little bit easier. I spent the last weekend cleaning up my studio. It really needed it. It was quite a mess, so. I needed to really give it some attention to get more organized. I think I'm gonna actually need a little more paint so it can flow over the sides. I don't believe I have enough to flow over the sides. So I'm gonna add a little bit here. And it's been a while since I've done a pour. It's uh, been a crazy couple of months. I've had to really try to get a little bit organized and more focus on a few things. And well, my dog has uh, been pretty ill and I've been focusing on him and he passed away last night, so I am pretty sad about that. This was a tough night last night. My little Atlas, he's been my buddy. And you know, all you d pet lovers out there, a pet really can bring you some joy in your life, so. He will be missed. He was definitely spoiled.
we do with our pets, right? They deserve to be spoiled and they deserve to have a fun life and fulfilled life for the short life that they have here on, with us. So, I wanted to spend some time with him. All right, I think we're looking pretty good. Most of the bubbles are, are out of there. That's about it. We're going to blow this out and see what it looks like, guys, and let's hope for the best. All right, I think I'm going to put a focal point right here in this little corner. It seems like a likely place that'll look really pretty. So that's what I think I'll do. I'll start it on this little corner here. This little focal point. It's a bubble. Some of these designs that I see in here are so pretty. Hey guys, we're back and I think this is a beauty. She looks really pretty together. All those beautiful colors, they're all looking very earthy, which is what I had planned on. And her design, I think she just looks so pretty. I really like her. Let me know what you guys think of the design in the colors. I think she's going to dry really pretty. I'm hoping I've ca caught all the drips off the sides so that it's not going to pull my design over the sides. Like this one has already run over, which is fine. It still looks okay like that. I'm okay with it. Um, and if this corner does go over a little, I, I don't mind either. But i um, hoping that everything else will stay just like it is. So, yeah, I'm excited. I think these colors look super pretty together. And, yeah, we'll, we'll wait till it dries to see if I might paint something on top. Maybe some flowers of some sort. Um, but she looks so pretty like this. So after a few days, after it's dried and we figure out what we're going to do with it, then I will be posting this on my website, www.tinasinspiredart.com.